to get this from the Florida Board of Elections. Our first look, Charlie Crist uh, on the Democratic side running for governor is, is beating Nikki Freed by a lot, 60 percent to 34 percent. And Dr. Gina, that's only almost 80 percent in. So that's telling us it's likely former Republican governor, now Democrat Charlie Crist, likely to face Ron DeSantis in November. Then the House races are getting interesting. You've been talking about Corey Mills and Anthony Sabatini. Corey Mills, right? Right now with 73% in is beating Sabatini big 41% to 22% and then the race you asked me about 13th district in Florida around Tampa St. Pete with Anna Luna backed by Donald Trump 86% in Dr. Gina she is winning the Trump back candidate 44% to 33% and then I want to highlight another we can go through a whole bunch um, but uh, the uh, Laura Loomer uh, she is very controversial she is running against Daniel Webster in a Republican primary. The sitting congressman is 47-47. They are absolutely deadlocked. So some drama there. And then the race you've been watching uh, with Dan Francis, uh, De this is the 22nd district here around Palm Beach. Deborah Adimi has 37 percent, Dr. Gina. Dan Francis has 32 percent. This with 54 percent of the vote in. So Dan Francis still has some time to make up. But there are results pouring very close. They're pouring in. How's Matt Gates's race going? Did you so mention that one? What's interesting that you asked that, Matt Gates running in the first district has a Republican primary challenge after the allegations lodged against him that he's pushed back on. No results in. No so we don't have anything in the Matt Gates race. So we'll have to see how that plays out, Dr. Gina. But we'll be staying. We're going to be on with live from Studio 6B starting at 8 p.m. all night long and then live tomorrow, of course, Lots at Benny's on the Beach, 8 a.m. Eastern. But these results are pouring in, Dr. Gina, and we're getting a minute to minute.